Good morning and welcome back to video number three. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button now. This is going to be like a combo video because we're discussing the whole Photoshop issue, but also the children who have been multiply Photoshopped are about to show up and about to be used for merching. Let's jump in, let's get there, let's go. We're gonna start, like I said, with the Photoshop issue because now that Harry and Meghan inserted themselves now they're going back, people are going back and looking at all of their photos. And one of the photos they pulled was this official christening photo. It's Harry and Meghan with the family. And global picture agency Getty says the picture has been quote unquote digitally enhanced. And nobody's sure why they're saying that because there isn't any obvious discrepancies. It was taken by a fashion photographer named Chris Allerton, and it was released after Archie's christening, July 6, 2019. Archie is supposedly two months old in this picture. Now, here's the interesting thing. Here is the article from where everybody was showing up to the christening. Remember, it was very secretive. They weren't telling people who was going to be there. When the pictures showed up of people arriving to this thing, you saw William driving himself and Catherine into the, the christening through the back entrance. I'm like, it's so odd. But you can barely see Catherine on the other side of William. She is not wearing a jacket. It was July. I'm going to zoom in here. She was wearing blue. That much is clear. Okay, take, again, take a closer look. Catherine is wearing blue. But in the original picture, on the right, she's wearing like salmon. Now, the photographer said that he prepared the camera and the lighting, and he did, you know, set everything up so that when everybody showed up, it would be very quick and, you know, relaxed, and he could take the pictures. Just as a little bit of a side note, remember the christening was done in this chapel that is so small. It only seats like, like eight people. They said this is where the queen used to go when she wanted to really commune with God. Anyway, some other pictures came out, like this one above. And you look at it and you think, nah, that's not Photoshopped. But then you have to look at Megan's jawline. Do you guys see that? Photoshop absolutely photoshopped so it's obvious that the picture was manipulated the thing is when somebody contacted the photographer and said just in case you didn't know getty editorial team put a note on your picture he said no thank you for bringing that to my attention he said i have not manipulated my picture and he was contacting the getty editorial team to request a clarification Here's the issue with all of that. There had been some manipulation to the picture. Anyway, the photographer said that the suggestion that he edited the picture was a, quote, load of cobblers. I don't think I've ever heard that term before. He did admit that he did some changing with the tone of the picture and this and that. Minimal tuning, he called it. Exposure. Um, that's manipulation. You may not want to call it that, but that's what it is. So here's a few issues. Uh, Prince Charles is wearing the same suit and flower as Prince Louis' christening, and it looks like his head was photoshopped on. Catherine's outfit is salmon, not blue, and her head looks quote-unquote flat against William's jacket. Uh, the way the picture looks is that Catherine's not really sitting on the chair, and also the back legs of Catherine's chair are missing. So, I mean, obviously, look, the legs are missing. So for this guy to say that he didn't manipulate this picture in any way is absolutely untrue. Now, before we move on to what's really happening here, because there's a lot, let's not forget that between the christening pictures, Harry and Meghan's known manipulated Christmas picture, the Netflix docuseries, every time we see their quote unquote son, the picture clearly shows that the nobody, no kids change, but not that much. Obviously, manipulating the photos of their kid. That's what they're doing. 
This is not the first time again that we've had Photoshop issues with Harry and Meghan's child. It's, it's, there's lots of pictures that clearly show that pictures have been Photoshopped. Now, why is this coming into play right now? Well, let me tell you why. I have told you guys so many times that they are going to use those children whenever they think it will help them make money. They did it with the Spotify deal where they had Archie speak. It didn't help. They didn't get the clicks. They copyrighted their children's names before they announced them. You do that when you're going to use them. So here's what happened. They had a famous photographer show up at Harry and Meghan's mansion and take pictures of Meghan cooking, you know, stuff for her Instagram, and also pictures of her children. They're included. So now what she's going to do is say, hey, you can see pictures of my kid. Come on my website. She's using the children. How horrible is that, that you don't want to put your children out there because you're afraid and, and you don't want your children to be used in that way and you're trying to protect them. But now that you possibly could use them to make money, you're including them in the Photoshop. Unbelievable. Somebody reached out to Harry and Meghan. Remember, they said that all statements would come through Archwell, but yet a friend of Meghan's, I, I, which I just that statement alone blows me off because she doesn't have any friends. She confirmed that the photo shoot did took place, but that the pictures of the children were simple portraits of the family. She said, I wouldn't connect those to the business. Right. Okay, well, we'll see, won't we? Because when she puts up those pictures for her company and suddenly the children are in them, you'll know that she lied once again. Please keep in mind that every time Harry and Meghan have released pictures of their kids, they've been heavily photoshopped. Both kids have been brunette, blonde, redhead. They've had their bodies stretched. In this picture, the left ear, if you zoom in, has been pixelated because that kid has a pierced ear. The pictures have all been photoshopped. So I feel bad for the kids because when they finally do grow up and come out into public, nobody's going to believe it's them. Harry has done the same thing to his kids that he said was done to him. What a shame. All right, you guys, don't forget to go down into the description box. You'll find links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my Patreon, in case you want to join us. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.